Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Alright, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading August 19th to August 25th, 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys that uh, for me to shuffle the tarot cards and we're gonna jump right into it just only a quick note from the last Scorpio reading I said that the last Scorp uh, on the last Scorpio reading on the last Capricorn reading I remember because I am a Scorpio my manager is Capricorn that my manager is gonna come up with that idea that I'm gonna like that much what would happen today which is well Sunday which is practically the same week okay so it's kind of like well, my point is that it, it, it came true here to give a, a bit of testimonial for myself. All right. OK, so the first card, which stands for the topic of our week, is going to be the Four of Wands, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that we need to overcome here. That is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of our week, which is the Hermit card. And then the last one, which stands for the guidance that Tsar is offering to us, that is going to be the Devil card. Well, it's, it's quite of a um, explosive energies that we are to tackle it throughout the week. And it is because it's going to be a quite of a decisive one. It seems that that will be the week where you, where we as a Scorpio, you know, make a uh, something quite relevant and quite substantial for our life. Uh, in my case, I very well know that is what that is going to be. You know, I hope that you also have a clue about what substantial thing you are trying to or you are on the verge of finalizing. Well, guess what is going to be finalized. So before we go into that, let's run the cards one more time. And the first one is going to be the uh, four of wands, followed by the second card, which is the queen of pentacles. That is the challenge here. The third one is going to be the... Um, Hermit card, which is the positive aspect, and then the final one is going to be the Devil card, which stands for the guidance. Okay, so Four of Wands. Four of Wands is a card pointing that one completes a, a part of their cycle. Four of Wands is a, is a card pointing that a certain milestone, you know, is, is finally finalized, and a, this is a, a big milestone. Actually, the Four of Wands and the Six of Wands are saying the same thing, but the Four of Wands is more like a, a milestone of preparation while the six of wands is more like a, a a performance kind of milestone so it's more like here we're talking about more like a, a plan all right plan that finally took its, its its final shape and now it's time to be executed if i may say it that way now because the four of wands is the prime card and it's it's the main this is the prime card of the reading and it is the main card of the um of the position in the spread it does kind of mean that we really made it as solid as possible what i mean is that every single minor detail had been taken under consideration and deliberation and found its place and as well resolution additionally to that the four of wands it could have a little bit more uh carefree um uh 
carefree interpretation pointing that this week we should have fun and this week we should try to expand on our social circle as well the accompanied card here is going to be the seven of wands formation it is a active uh, supporters very interesting actually because it looks like that uh, how, how do I describe it it looks like that we are gonna have that uh, well, it's uh, give me a second, guys. It's I, it's more like the this this plan is going to still shift up, okay? And at the very last minute, we may kind of have that impulse and urge to 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 to, to change it, okay? So uh, here we need to resist the temptation and kind of like because the seven of wands points to a either uh, inward detest or exterior temptation to change our plan or to change our performance. Either way, we need to be ready uh, to jump into action because with the seven of wands, especially to the four of wands, is going to be a very fast transition, very rapid transition. One day the plan is over, all right, and you think, all right, so now probably I have a couple of days, you know, to gather my thoughts. No, we don't. We have maybe a couple of hours before we actually start executing it. So, oops, excuse me. So for that reason, we have to be we, we we need to arm ourselves with all the determination and iron will we we can so we can you know do the right thing either with our relationship or either with our a um either with our career as well and when i said relationships that could be a plan you and someone else to be together you know and uh, there could be an obstacle since there is a plan for that okay and uh, bam you know the plan is over and suddenly you do have that kind of like a window of opportunity to start executing the plan waiting beyond that window of opportunity probably is going to put that plan into halt for let's say several weeks or several months or years maybe so the first chance you have to make a move it's the point you gotta make your move without any shred of hesitation now the challenge here is going to be this person who is holding you down why it is because they think that your planner isn't finished yet it could be your mother it could be your boss it could be a friend of yours it could be your partner in relationship now you shouldn't be mad on them all right it's just this person wants to see you successful and they think you know that they they they, they this plan of yours or rather like this idea of yours still needs time to develop but the truth is that there is no time anymore especially with this uh looming seven of wands here up to the four of uh, up to the four of wands there is no time anymore and uh, you have did or we scorpio done a, a pretty good job you know scaling <clears throat> our pros and cons according to the future itself now the queen of pentacles is this a very self-respecting woman somewhat absorbed with her uh it could be as well a man you know absorbed with her or his uh, or his environment but in the same time you know it is because they always aim to maximize their personal possessions that's why they always look for opportunities here to for unexplored and for that reason you know they think that there is still some additions that can be put to your idea or to your plan scorpio that while in reality there isn't such and the the challenge here is going to be the arguments that you need to do in order that person to leave you alone uh the formation uh, is a passive neutrals here the card the accompanied card is eight of wands so with this particular combination uh it's it's pretty clear that that person here does not understand the term sense of emergency and um, I don't know how to say it and uh, in English when you do have that like I said a small window of opportunity where you need to make your move uh, and uh, they, they do not understand that okay they always think that should your plan be a bulletproof or rather like should your uh, idea be as, uh, as successful as it can there is no such thing as a window of opportunity I mean you can start executing anytime you want it is because it's a play it's a, a master plan all right but that's not the case not ever 
So uh, definitely you and that person are not on the same page. And for that reason, you know, if you got to let, let that person go, you got you got to let that person go. Now, the next one is going to be about your positive aspect of the week, and that will be the hermit. So the hermit here points that you are to approach this uh, this uh, plan of yours, or rather like this idea of yours, or the next step of evolution, I would say. Because like we said, four of wands is about a uh, uh, ending of a cycle of growth that involves preparations, all right? And the next is the real initiation so you are to approach Scorpio that initiation with a great amount of wisdom and intelligence as well making some uh, very good decisions uh, in regards to focusing upon what is substantial for the endeavor itself that will allow you to uh, swipe the direction of, of, of of your of the endeavor itself meaning that should that endeavor involves a failure up until this moment let's say you know you are in a relationship that isn't going on very well you make a plan with um with your husband or with your wife how to uh, how to improve the marriage uh, you share it with your mother here your mother completely doesn't understand it it is because it goes everything against she's used to okay and nonetheless you do this intelligent and wise move toward the substantial thing in your life which is your marriage you know that forces it into a new direction that there is almost no one there to applaud especially your mother all right but in the same time you save it okay so it's it's this is how the reading takes place either regarding career or either regarding relationship the accompanied card is going to be the queen of swords here formation it is your passive enemies that we do have aggression is the thing that you should not exert here first thing i could say with these two cards <clears throat> Second of all, it looks like that you are going to clinch upon the, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, the past, uh, the past blessings or the past um, assets. I don't know how to say it really. It's like a uh, virtues. Yeah, it's the virtue. So you are going to clinch on the past virtues that the marriage, for example, had like you had trust into one another you know you love each other so even if that's not the case right now you can still may believe that that could be regained all right and that couldn't can be regained but you can't allow a exterior forces to influence your marriage or to influence your career right you can't allow for example your family to tell you what you have to do since you are taking care of yourself you have to be the one who decides what to do that is for example if we're following uh, if we are following this reading, but as I said, exterior uh, exterior influences, Seven of Wands is a very strong card for that, because this reading takes place in a uh, in a field of your life where there are exterior influences and you need to sever those influences at once and that will happen in this week august 19th to august 25th 2019 and the last card that we do have for you scorpio is going to be in regards to the guidance here that will be the uh, devil card so the devil card tells you that you do have the power you definitely have the power to do the things the way you want it is just up to you um and it's not like up to you but it is just you have to be also bearing those consequences the devil it's a very premature uh or primal energy right it gives you the impulse to do the things the way you want uh this primal energy can be used for creation it could be used for destruction it is up to you to decide how to use it but with it you can definitely force the faithful circumstances in order to improve your personal circumstances. Okay, so it's like forcing up the, the, the situation you need uh, in order to traverse your um, your endeavors, you know, marriage, career and etc, etc in a way that you want to do it. For example, you know, uh, you can use those energies to be successful into your project, despite that there is someone there sabotaging it, or you can use those energy to destroy the project and to punish the one who sabotages you. 
Either way, you have to bear the consequences of your actions. It is just you need to know that throughout this week you are the boss and you need to exert your influence. Just at the end, make sure you know that whatever you are creating it is exactly what you want because you will have to live with it. And the last card that we do have here is going to be the Empress Formation. It is the passive supporters that we do have. Um, a very strong combo. It, it is a combo of a, uh, uh, of a ruler, right? Of a supreme leader here that we do have. Someone who needs, who has a tremendous influence and tremendous power in their hands. And in the same time, one that it is calm and knows how to exploit that power in a way that it will create only good instead of create a disaster right so it's all up to you in order to create good with these two cards you need to find yourself in a spot most comfortable of all so that being said do not try to confront situations which you are feeling despondent and poignant in all right because you can lose it and do things that later you are to regret and in the same time whenever you are to make a decision try to give yourself a time to think um maturely in regards to it so you can make it a well-founded one because at the end of the day with the empress and with the uh, devil card the results of your actions either bitter or sweet are going to be yours to swallow so i hope that you do swallow the sweet part of it so yeah that being said scorpio this was your weekly tarot reading august 19th to august 25th 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.